I think, I think one thing that I always remember as a kid, especially me and my sister, was like, you know, like the old school mentality, especially colonial mentality that uh, a lot of our f- family and friends, they do bring from the old country. You know, it's our history, but man, there's, there's like, there's this thought in our community that having dark skin, you're going to have a harder life in our community. It's like, psh, no way. <laughs> no way. We're all equal, Right? No way. Dark skin? No way. You're not going to have a problem. No way. But it was true. It was true. Especially my sister, who's a little darker skinned than me. All right, she's hella dark. <laughs> we were dark. We were dark kids. Well, she was more dark because she was more of the jock. She was an athlete, always playing soccer, whatever, chili, I don't know, anything. She was always out in the sun. So when she'd come home, oh, my mom would just get into her. Joy, you're so dark, Joy. Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. You're so, Jesus, you're so dark, Joy. You're so dark. Look at your skin. You're so dark. You're too dark, Joy. You're too dark. No one is going to marry you. No one is going to marry you. Not even a blind man wants to marry you. Because you're darker than what he already cannot see. <laughs> see, that's kind of wrong, right? That's stuff that we need to like deprogram from ourselves, right? We get caught up in this colonial matrix shit, and that shit is real, right? So we need to change that with our generation.